8 o'clock in the morning, a little bit later than we would like to be waking up. But we had a hard time sleeping last night. It got down to guessing one. Hey? Yeah. Like frozy. Yeah. <laughs> so now we have to convince ourselves to get out of our warm sleeping bags. We're all stiff too. I know. I had to keep shifting position in bed. My hips would hurt after a while. Tired. It's going to be a hard day today. We'll have to check on our food bags. Hmm. How far away would you guess our food bags are? Wow. They're on the other side of the road, maybe. Mm -hmm. Probably right about 200 yards. Right. Maybe, maybe 150. But I don't think we had any animals checking us out last night. Sometimes I was hearing things, but that very well could have been just paranoia because I'm also right beside this tag, and any time I'd shuffle that, I'd make lots of noise. That tag is going to go tonight. Okay, we're checking on our food, see if it survived the night. Say it's still hanging. Nice. Let's see. Oh. The sun might be. Okay. Yay for us. We have food. This morning's water source. It's a uh, little yellow. Runs a little bit slower. Probably has more stuff in it. A few friends. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen little bugs floating in there. Good stuff. Much slower today. I've got a blister on my left foot that's kind of in the shape of South America and I've got another blister on my right foot. I don't know what kind of shape it is but it's quite large and poofy. So I'm not sure how the day is gonna progress. I know we have a 20k day today. But I think in about a kilometer and a half, we'll be off the road and back onto a trail. Get some shade. There's my blister on my right foot, the one that's causing me so much grief. Not sure if I should take a needle to it and pop it or what I should do. I tried putting yesterday, I put some uh, moleskin on the balls of my feet. That's where some blisters were beginning to form. But I don't really think that did much for me. So I'm not sure what I should be doing. Dawn's off in the bush somewhere having a, a bathroom break. Just going to let my feet air out for a bit while I make a decision, I guess. Here we are on the trail gotten my one blister kind of sorted out. Turns out, uh, I don't think the sock liners are a friend of mine. I know lots of people swear by them, but I think they were causing me more issues than anything else. So we took both of the liners off my feet and the one foot we attached some moleskin to the inside of the sock. It feels nice. 
<laughs> sure is pretty here. A little bit of bushwhacking involved. The sun, it's hot. So narrator, where does the Narrow Hills get its name from? I think we know. Well, this is a fairly narrow hill. Yeah. There's a big, they call it an asker, but it's actually a push moraine. Which is like the glacier pushed so far and then stopped. And so this is the pile of dirt that it left where it stopped. That's why we bring you along. <laughs> so, for all those who have a preconceived notion about Saskatchewan and it being flat and you can see your dog run away for miles and miles and there's nothing but wheat fields, take a look out here. I don't see wheat fields. We're certainly uh, not on flat terrain here. <laughs> it's quite beautiful. Um, and the more north you go, the more beautiful it gets. I don't know that I've ever been on this piece of the trail before. This is just, it's frickin' beautiful. It really is. When we, uh, like when we would, uh, keep looking for a moose. When we would come up, we probably didn't go on this strip. Uh-huh. We probably just went on the Harding Road up to the next spot. Oh, like we as in you and I or? And me and my dad. Right. You know. We've uh, crossed over the Harding Lake Road and back onto our Narrow Hills Trail. And it's been a lot of having to get through stuff like this. It's not very graceful. Looking like it's maybe getting better. Maybe. We were wrong. 
along, it doesn't get any better. It seems to have just gotten worse. What? Just a few branches. Yeah. <laughs> I think I almost lost my eye at one point. 200 meters. Okay. Okay. Well, the bushwhacking has been quite relentless until this point, but I don't want to jinx it because <laughs> we really don't know. It doesn't appear that anyone's really been down here for quite some time. Um, I had a meltdown. We had to stop to had some water, observed all the blood on my hands. Not that it was really a lot. <laughs> Um, but yeah, had to melt down. We realized that if we got into trouble here, even though we have a spot, it would be hard for people to rescue us. Uh, bushwhacking and moving around things and trees and everything. Um, one has to be careful not to break an ankle in the process. The other obstacle is we've not really run into any water sources. So we're on the last quarter liter each, I think. Yeah, give or take. Um, we have another kilometer of this trail and we're hoping there's some water. <laughs> that's, that's all I want is water. I'd like enough water that I could actually dip my feet in them, cool them off. Something like that would really lift my spirits right now. Although right now, the trail's looking actually pretty good and that's also lifting my spirits. I just got done talking about how we hadn't found water in a while. We, we did, we found some water. It's, you were laughing because at the beginning of the trip, we're kind of picky about our water sources. And now we're like, oh my God, it's a swamp. Let's get some water. <sighs> Looks like it's a little bit difficult though to actually get out. We can hear the frogs. And this is that Canuck bag that I'm loving so much. I don't know if Don is, he's been doing a majority of the filtering work. Well, we'll start filtering that. It's a lovely color. It's like a mirage. Odell Lake. What kind of print is that? get water from here, right? What? We're going to get water from here, right? Oh, over there. Yeah. What kind of print is that? Print. Oh. Yeah. I guess because it's all wet, it looks a little bit different than the ones we saw in the sand. Alright, we are at Odell Lake, taking a bit of a break. Dawn is boiling some water. I'm soaking my feet, but trying not to get my pants wet. <laughs> oh, cooling them off. we have it to ourselves except for the bear that belongs to those prints I was pointing at earlier 
It is seven o'clock. We are still at Odell. We've decided that we're making this our home for the night because why wouldn't we? Um, otherwise, it was about another five kilometers to our next picked out spot and we didn't think that the water would be as easily accessible as this lake is. So we, we went with this. <laughs> How's that bag? <laughs> and yeah, we are cooking, hiker style, which means boiling water and adding it to bags of dehydrated, dehydrated foods and Snickers for dessert. And this is my bliss, having supper, right there, honey lime, chicken, But yeah, having supper with this is my view. And here we are, camp for the night. Bit of a mess to put away yet, but not much. We are ready for bed, most definitely just eating the snack foods we forgot to hang in the food bag. That was my fault. We didn't do an idiot check. There's home. The MSR Hubba Hubba. Okay, here we are. In bed. I'm not quite technically in bed. I'm on my bed. <laughs> Anyways, um, kind of wanted to say good night to our kids. Good night, Seffi, Zane, Dawson. Love you guys. Wish you were here, but you probably would hate it. <laughs> and you wouldn't fit in the tent. No, you definitely would not fit in this tent. Everyone would have to have their own single size lightweight tent to make that work. But looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow very, very much.